Hello everybody, welcome and welcome back. Today we're going to be playing in the Lost Caverns of Ixalan Early Access Streamer event, and we're going to be playing with a Orzhov Sacrifice deck. This one is focused around Vito, Fanatic of Aklazots. He is a 4 mana 4-4 four, four flyer, and he has the ability whenever you sacrifice another permanent, you gain 2 life if it's the first time it's happened. If it's the second time, each opponent loses 2. And if it's the third time, you make a 4-3 Vampire Demon with flying. So, in a deck that has a lot of ways to sacrifice things, this card is busted. So, we're playing Rata Dropric of Urborg. Since we're playing a handful of legends in here, and it'll make it easy to get lots of creatures to sacrifice, since all of our legends are going to come back as copies. Sanguine Evangelist is a 3 mana 2 1 that brings along another body, and it has Battle Cry, so it can help us force through a lot of damage sometimes. Uh, also, when it dies, you get another bat, so this guy is basically 3 bodies in 1, which is an entire cycle of veto triggers. We're playing Ellis Ilkor and Vron Executioner Thane to kind of min max on our sacrificing value. Amalia is in here, since we're getting a decent amount of life, she's going to explore a lot, she's going to get real big, and she's got ward, so it's a really good card to fit in the shell. Fanatical Offering is another way to sacrifice creatures, it gives us cards and map tokens, so going something like Greedy Freebooter into the Fanatical Offering is an incredible way to set yourself up for turn 3. Cut down. Uh, go for the Throat and Rite of Oblivion are our removal spells of choice. Rite of Oblivion is another fun one since you can sacrifice things like your Greedy Freebooter, trigger your Veto, your Ellis, your Vron. Lots to do here. The most important card in the deck, I think, is Bartolome. Since he is a 2 mana 2 1 with a repeatable free sacrifice outlet, he's going to make your opponent's Sunfalls much worse their targeted removal much worse, and he's just going to be a nightmare to play against since you can just kind of make him really big if your opponents don't play around it correctly. This deck is super fun to play and I had a blast in the early access event with it, so if you guys are excited to see this in action, make sure to drop a like, leave a comment, and make sure you're subscribed if you aren't already, as I'd really appreciate it. I upload to YouTube five days a week with standard content just like this, so if you don't mind dropping a subscription, I'd really appreciate it, since I'm trying to still get my channel partnered. Or since I'm still trying to get my channel partnered. And with all that said, let's hop onto the ladder and see how this does. The recording software didn't want to work. We'll keep this one. We'll lead off with our swamp. down Ellis. Rude. Well, there's a veto. So do we want to play the fortress and hold open or not play the fortress, play the swamp, hold open, cut down. We can just play Ellis here in the fortress, I think. I really doubt they're going to play anything that we need to cut down on turn three. So, like that, that, and we pass. Wait a sec. That's not fair. Guys, I want to gain life. I feel robbed. I'm feeling a little victimized here. It's... It was actually a really funny one. I hadn't thought of any play anybody playing the giant cinder maw, but I mean it works. Let's go with our freebooter. And 
we pass. Wonderful. That is a big dino. These cutdowns are really quite useful. Evangelist. It's not bad. a cut down target. <laughs> There's two. That's kind of helpful. Cinder Maw, just so we can gain life. And then we can just like Anjo there. Not exactly what I want. Let's just hold it for a turn. Maybe make them think twice. Another cavern. So they at least protected themselves well from a crackback and top decked kill spell. So I think we have to block there. Well, we don't really have to block. We can just take 10, I think. Bartolome. And we're just going to Alpha Strike. Oh. 
okay. I don't know. Uh, we'll take it. Um, hmm. we'll keep it. We at least have like Freebooter Bartolome start, so we can go pretty fast. say where where's the vampire my goodness down at the bottom of the list you know how the alphabet works and down comes gigs sure I guess good turn or a uh, good opportunity to play top land go for the throat Just a colorless, so can't play the freebooter and the right. Well, we could if we wanted to sacrifice the treasure we get from this one. Don't think we want Ellis here. This guy's a human pirate, so Cavern of Souls doesn't work. I want to save the treasure for next turn when we have Veto. Arena's pretty good. Oblivion here, which is going to help us sacrifice. Okay. Thanks for conceding early. Alright, next game. Hands pretty solid, let's keep it. We have the Ellis and Duomalia curve, which is going to be pretty cool. Hopefully we hit a land next turn so we can play the free booter. The uh, free booter as well. Unfortunate. Let's go with the Malia and we'll explore. Hmm. So that's unfortunate. <laughs> We could name human. So what is he, a pirate? Is there any other pirates in here? I don't think so. I think we're just gonna go with vampire. We get in for two. Mm-hmm. Let's go for the throat. And I think we're on. Mm. Keep it on top. Don't think so.
Let's go for the throat. We'll go with the freebooter. We'll keep it. And Bartolome. We'll keep it. And we'll sack the freebooter. Get the trigger out of Ron. Jeez, that was crazy. I didn't even realize that was lethal. <laughs> wow, three minutes. A couple post-game thoughts for everybody. I think this deck is incredibly powerful. And I mean, I'm just gonna go ahead and say it. I think there's gonna be a sacrifice deck in standard. Uh, just the greedy freebooter into the fanatical offering curve is insane. You get so much value, so much resources. You can set up for veto extremely easily, and you can just throw out vampire demons, which is really strong since they're all flying. Not everyone's going to be able to deal with that. Bartolome, he definitely overperformed. This card is insane. Being able to give free triggers to Rada Drawbrick and just kind of work around your opponent's removal. Beautiful. I really enjoyed playing this deck and I hope you guys enjoyed watching it. And with all that said, thank you everybody for watching. I appreciate it. Like, comment, subscribe, and I will catch you in the next one. Peace.